Well, good evening. Um, just come back from a meeting. So um, <clears throat> while I was out, uh, very thankful that uh, Jerome of the French Wrecking Crew uh, sent me this article about um, Sheriff Mark Wiegert announcing his retirement. So let's just quickly uh, pop that one up straight away. There we go. Share that. And here we go. So this is um, post present at Kelly Arsenal. Chilton, Calumet County Sheriff Mark Wiegert announced Friday he will retire after his term ends in January. He says, it has been an honour and a privilege to serve the citizens of Calumet County for the last 29 years, but after lengthy consideration, I have decided that this is the right time for me to retire, both personally and professionally, Wiegert said in a statement. According to a news release from the Sheriff's Office, Wiegert said he wanted to announce his decision now to allow Sheriff candidates time to begin required nomination paperwork. Calumet County Sheriff Mark Wiegert speaks to the media after human remains were found at Highcliff State Park on September 29th, 2021. Wiegert has been Sheriff of Calumet County since 2019. He has been working in law enforcement for 31 years, beginning with roles as a part-time police officer in Brilliant and Valdez. He started working at the Calumet County Sheriff's Office in 1994 as a patrol officer. Between then and his election to sheriff, Wiegert served a sergeant in the investigation, investigative decision, division, lieutenant overseeing jail and investigations, and under sheriff, and under sheriff, sir. According to the news release, during Wiegert's time as sheriff, he oversaw a 35 million project that created a new jail and sheriff's office adding a swearing-in ceremony for new officers, added the country, county's first courthouse security position, began a wellness committee to help officers with mental health challenges, started the county's first drone program, and was responsible for raising funds to add a second canine unit. During his time with the Sheriff's Office, Wiegert has, has investigated many felony cases, including several high-profile homicides, according to the news release. Wiegert has received recognitions, including Wisconsin's Officer of the Year, the state's Outstanding Victim Advocate Award, and a Meritus Service Award from the Wisconsin Association of Homicide Investigators. As Sheriff, Wiegert is currently in charge of 70 employees and manages an annual $8 million budget. We have a great department with truly dedicated deputies, corrections officers, dispatchers and support staff, Wiegert said in a statement. I will miss the team and all we have accomplished together. I thank them for their support over the years. I do not believe for one moment <coughs> that that is how, how Mark Wiegert is going to be remembered. He will be forever, forever remembered as part of the clowns, the pair of clowns, Tim and Tom Fassbender, the Burton Ernies of uh, investigations and responsible for the for the most appalling interview of Brendan Dussey you could possibly imagine. This this would be my, uh, this is how I think of Mark Wiegert and I'm sure a lot of you feel exactly the same. If I were Pinocchio, my nose would be this long. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> some of you that didn't know this, um, let me close that down again um, and go to this. And let's uh, click on that and share again. I did um, share some correspondence with um, Mark Wiegert, and if you look carefully, you'll see that the date, the 1st of March, 2017. So that was exactly 11 years to the day after 
they, uh, him and Tom Fassbender, did that train wreck of an interview with Brendan. And uh, well, here you go. This is what uh, Mark Regat wrote to me. But uh, thank you for your concern, because I said I obviously haven't watched the Netflix documentary. As you are aware, both cases are still in the appeal stage, so it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment about either case, other than to say I am 100% certain of their guilt and stand behind everything done in the case. Now, now that we know about the, the uh, hoodlatch swab and his switching, of a um, of a groin swap. I wonder if that's still the case. And I like this. I hope someday to be able to answer all of your questions. If you have a chance, you may want to read former prosecutor Kratz's book. You are aligning yourself with an even more despicable character. Uh, you know, it just <laughs> it beggars belief, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go and get my. Uh, coffee before I get off to bed and uh, we'll see you sometime soon. Bye for now.